hortus conclusus means an enclosed garden. It means immediately you have a borderland, so you have an inside and an outside. And the Murray, the Albury Wodonga, the Murray River is a natural, and the Great Dividing Range and then the Riverina Plains and the western side, it's a natural hortus conclusus. And I think that became obvious to the, the early settlers. Initially, Albury was a real challenge for me because I've spent so much time the last 20 years, but particularly the last 10 years in the central desert. And artistically, that's been my focus and that's been my area of interest. So to work in rural Australia and to work in a regional area like Albury, which is, um, has such an obvious history of human habitation. You know, past Indigenous habitation is very strong in the land. There's a very strong sense of um, this, that kind of... It sounds esoteric, but that very strong sense of the, the spirits of the landscape of those past Indigenous people that's very, very buried into the, into the shape of the land. But also the, you know, the post-colonial history um, rural history, the farmers and the the way they've rescaped or restructured the landscape, all the weirs and dams and the clearing of the hills. Even though there's a beautiful areas of national park and um, bush, it's very, very dis different landscape for me artistically. And it was a challenge. It was a real challenge, but it was exciting because, you know, it, it, it's so incredibly beautiful and it does have that pertinence is there. It does have that human history, past and present. And I just wondered if I could, if I could work with those two elements. So the challenge was exciting, really exciting. Fieldwork is where I go and explore and research my subject. And I go out in the field, obviously, and I'm at different places and different locations, but it's not a, even the fieldwork is not a literal um, translation of what, where I am and what I see in the particular place. The fieldwork is a creative process. The fieldwork has to be artistic as well. So when I'm sitting, you know, on the banks of the Murray or up on a hill or... or down near Lake Humor, up in the sky in a helicopter. I'm not literally transcribing what I see in front of me. I, I see selectively. They're not composites. They're not oh, like 50 
different gouaches and drawings sort of composed into one picture. The paintings are completely different to the fieldwork. They're an, another process. It's like a, another step on in, in the journey of resolving my thinking. And, and when, when a painting is finished or complete, everything, all the thinking, all the feelings, all the emotional content, but all the, the experience, the, my artistic experience, suddenly seems to click into place into the picture and you see it, everything. It's not something I can articulate. And as soon as the painting is resolved and all the, the wrestling, all the trying to find the language, trying to identify the ideas, trying to, to pin down that feeling, suddenly, suddenly it appears before you. Suddenly the painting is it. fantastic place. The people are extraordinary. They're so generous. I don't know whether it's something about having to survive in such a harsh environment for so long. There's such an incredibly inherent generosity and nurturing, and particularly for outsiders, for foreigners. They gave me access, access to everything I could ever want and supported me and encouraged me. Beautiful people. Amazing hospitality in these wonderful, wonderful properties, landscapes. I mean, taking me in a helicopter, taking me to the lake, to the rivers, night time. You know, everything was possible if I said to them, I wanted to go and hang upside down in a tree in the middle of the night. We're going to make it happen. They're just the support and the enthusiasm and the excitement for an artist to come into rural Australia, it's, it's like nothing, it's wonderful, wonderful. bank and they'll, they'll appear in a painting. One day they'll appear in a painting and people will say to me, oh so are those trees from this place? And you think, I don't know, 
they've come out of, they've been stored. I've been storing them, you know, I've been storing them. I've been storing all this, like, it doesn't disappear. It comes into your visual memory and you, it comes up at the weirdest time. <laughs>